This is a video response to the video of Amit, Amit Goswami on quantum physics and consciousness, the second of three. This is June, and what I want to do is look at it from a point of view of oneness and separation. And from the point of view of oneness, I'm looking at it from my reality, which is as me, as you, as all life just so I can challenge myself and looking at different people's perspective of things. As the split comes in the identification with part of the object spectrum in the brain. So when we recognize directly by direct experience that we are capable of reaching that separateness, then I know that there really isn't and a separateness of the picture. I am one, for the sake of experience, have become two or many, but it's only an illusory separateness. I am still one, because this separateness is just an imposition on my oneness. Why is this, is this important to me because it, it helps me stop feeling so separate and sad and alone, or does it tell me that, oh, I can create, finally I can create money in my hand, I don't have to worry about all working, or what does it kind of mean to me, all of this stuff that just... create my own reality. And the first thing that people started creating are Cadillacs, right? There was a whole tradition that um, that got created, all spiritual tradition comes to mind, I don't know what's a name, but uh, they actually meditated that way, meditated to manifest material wealth. I'll manifest a Cadillac for myself. Very soon, however, it was recognized that Cadillac is a little bit hard. So some traditions, some uh, very famous uh, teaching traditions, which again I won't mention names, they started uh, giving the idea that we can at least create parking spaces. Remember that? That's in the 70s, so we did that. But after a while, it became clear, uh, thanks to uh, Ludwig Buss uh, in Australia, myself at Oregon, and uh, Casey Blood, at uh, Rutgers, uh, it became clear that the place from where we choose to create my own reality, that place of consciousness is a very special, non-ordinary state of being, where the subject of the split tend to disappear, the samadhi or satori that I was telling you about. And it is from this non-ordinary state that I choose, and therefore the Ordinary, ordinary uh, exaltation of the new major also disappeared until it was forced to face the reality that there is really no free lunch. We have to meditate and reach this non-ordinary state of consciousness. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, that's his viewpoint. So, cre we create our reality, and then suddenly people started creating um, whatever they like to create, cars and stuff. Okay, but he's saying, it's from the consciousness point, it's when you're there that you tend to uh, really, really create. Okay. Um, what would I say if I'm here in his shoes, if I'm the life essence in that body? Well, because my reality is that through my research, there are different theories about um, creation, and one is which um, is being sponsored by the secret is whatever, whatever you um, think happens, okay? And there's another, and if, it, if you want positive stuff, you have to think of fast positive stuff. Okay, another theory um, is that even if you think about good stuff, you can create that good stuff, but together with it, you will create the negative opposite of it. Because... Um, according to this theory, which I will put a link here, um, 
uh, is that a dimensional being created us and set up this whole creation in such a way that it's connected to one another. Uh, and that connection, we thought, is of consciousness, which is beyond the mathematical thing. And we thought that is the, the field. But really, this theory is saying, no, that was created to sort of, and, and the polarity was created with it, so that we will not know who we really are as the life essence that we are, and be, be uh, identified with everything else that we identify with and think. Okay, so then I will say from that reality that I have, because of my research, I will say that the point of separation really is when um, our mind is in um, is creating thoughts about what we like, and that usually is a great um, a great um, reality. Like for example, a nice car, a uh, success at work, and stuff like that. But if this theory is true, is true that we are creating the opposite because it's set up that way to sort of like um, this creation work that way well, then we are creating the opposite reality too in fact we are chasing our own tail by even by thinking about good things you see and by trying to when he said trying to meditate to get to that point well self-realization meaning it's already there how will you work to get there I've, I've uh, practiced meditation for 29 years with different uh, teachers and of course I've, I feel good like in a in a an ocean where I become one asshole but if is it consciousness or is it true that that is also programmed by this alien. Well, that your answer is as good as mine. But um, if that is true, we are actually creating the opposite. That if we are thinking about bliss, we're creating an opposite reality somewhere else of the opposite of bliss. Because really, everyone is saying we're creating this reality you see and you see this reality as having opposites so many people rich and so many people that's poor so really uh, we're not just creating the good reality that we think we're creating this reality from the past things that we've done and or thought about which is of negativity to me how we can get 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 out of this polarity is just forgive ourselves for whatever identifications we have which got us um, into polarity anyway in the beginning we are already that life essence and so if we, if we forgive ourselves for everything else that we identified with as separate as us, as the life essence, we, we, be, we, we, um, we self-realize. There you have it. As before, we become...